So now that we actually went ahead and set up everything we needed to get started with Python, we can now go ahead and create our first sample project. So it's just going to be a small demo of what we can do. And to get started, all we have to do is first start with creating a variable and a variable just holds numbers or text and so on. So we're gonna call this one user underscore input. And this is going to equal a command that's inside Python that allows the user to insert text and that's called input. And inside here, we're just going to enter what we want to ask from the user. So we will say insert some text. Now, whatever the user decides to type in is going to be stored in this variable. And what we want to do is go ahead and print what they wrote. So here we're going to go ahead and create a combination. So we're going to go ahead and type in you wrote plus user input. Now, if we go ahead and run the program, it's going to say insert some text. And here we can insert anything. We can even type in banana if you want. And it's going to tell us we wrote banana because another thing to note is that Python executes code one line at a time. So it's going to start with line one. And as soon as line one completes, we're going to move on to line two and so on. And as soon as it finishes all of the lines of code, it's going to say process finished with exit code zero, which means there were no errors. If we happen to create an error, such as taking a letter away from here, and it's going to say init, we're going to get an error immediately, which is going to say name init is not defined because this is not provided by the program and we did not create it. So the program is going to have no idea what this is. And it's going to just say there's an error there, but let's undo that. And this is a very good moment to bring up that programming languages such as Python are case sensitive, which means you need to be careful on how you write this. You can't just write uppercase I and expect for the same result. Uppercase I and lowercase I are going to have different meanings in the program. And the same thing goes for user input. If we type in user underscore input, it's going to mean something different. It's not going to mean the same thing. We can even give it a number instead. So this time, if we go inside, you wrote user input, and we use the second one and click on run, you're going to notice we can enter some text and it threw an error because this is a number and we need it to be a string, which is text. Of course, we will go over that later, but for now, I'm just going to change this to some green by adding some quotation marks and rerunning the program, doing that. You're going to notice it's going to use the second user input. That's because, of course, this is uppercase and this one here is lowercase. So definitely remember to pay attention to what is uppercase and what is lowercase because it makes a big difference in programming what happens and how it happens. 